story tonight, a move to keep the Savannah River lock and dam in place is being celebrated by Congressman Rick Allen. The House recently passed language halting the Army Corps plans to replace the dam with a rock weir running across the Savannah River, and it forces the pool to be maintained at a specific level. The lock and dam have been the, the center of a years-long controversy and lawsuits centered around the people's needs versus the needs of fish impacted by the Corps' deepening of the Savannah Harbor. So what does all this mean for you at home? Your Kennedy Payne explains. The Savannah Bluff Lock and Dam has seen better days and once again at the center of controversy. The challenge to maintain water levels but also protect fish in the Savannah River. In this video provided by Congressman Rick Allen's office, Allen says he has worked for years to find a permanent solution that works for everyone. And one that works for job creators, municipalities and our community alike. The Army Corps of Engineers, which operates the lock and dam, wants a rock weir to control water flow with water flowing over the weir instead of through a spillway, something Allen finds a problem. Maroon boats and docks on the ground to excess debris, mud flaps, uh, the river banks caving in, and uh, these businesses not able to draw the water they need. A plan by Allen calls for river levels between Augusta's 5th Street Bridge and the Lock and Dam to stay between 114.5 and 115 feet. It's passed the House and now goes to the Senate. Tanya Bodditadabis with the Savannah River Keepers worries the plan doesn't account for the impact on fish. Uh, it actually excludes sturgeon from the language, which is a huge problem. Bonitadabis says she understands that maintaining the water level is critical but so are the fish. This big, complicated mess of a huge amount of federal funds. A bunch of people are fighting over what does that solution look like. It's been an expensive fight, one involving lawsuits. We can't get people to sit down at a rational table and come up with a solution that meets all the needs of the project. She says the plan doesn't account for who is going to maintain the lock and dam or how to pay for it. We're just continuing this. I don't care about the fish. Let me just take the money and then also leaving this unfunded mandate. A fight as murky as the waters of the Savannah River. In Augusta, Kennedy Payne on your side.